tell all number four, finally, Sister Wives is coming to a close. Yep. I'm so bummed. Are you sad? Yeah. Or are you Are you sad or are you relieved? I'm sad. Because I feel like we, get, we, we got no new information, really, this whole season. This, I, read, <laughs> I read some comment that said, this whole season could have been covered in three episodes. I think that's probably true. Yeah. And I feel like it just made Cody look bad. Like, he just got rageful and angrier the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, he, he did not show well. But I am sad. I feel like it's, this is a fun thing that we've been doing. Yeah. What's your, what do you want to do after this? I want to do a deep dive. Since you're a marriage and family therapist by training, I do feel like I, we should do a deep dive into relationships. Well, So first of all, I am by training, but I haven't done that kind of work for 12 years. Will it be but, fun to get back into it for a little bit? Yeah. Go back to your roots? Okay. So here's my... <laughs> so we should... I've, I've, I, I want to talk about it with you, and I also want the, the potential listeners to know. So my, my hesitancy for doing that, like making a relationship thing, is that I feel like uh, every psychology influencer, relationship influencer is full of it. And they're just like, they, they act like their relationship is perfect, and they, like, they feel like they cre- it, 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 it adds a level of inauthenticity to everything that you do. Okay, but... You um, have the credentials behind your last name, whereas most of them don't. So own it, and let's move forward. I'm sitting here as we're talking about this, and I'm realizing that I'm wearing a onesie just like your onesie. Aren't we so cute? Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've lost some street cred with my onesie outfit. All right, change it up. All right, so... um, Mm -hmm. Where did you get Wait. that? This is a much more alpha outfit, right? You didn't give me one? My mom gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, let's do this. I know. Uh, the one where I'm like, I think you'd drive a truck over me if you could. Mm. And she laughs yeah. hysterically, cynically. I was in a pretty bad place, and I didn't like her at all. I think he has had filler and Botox in, which is why, like, his emotions seem off. It's like nothing's moving. And so then I feel like he looks mean, or then probably he is. Well, I'm, but I'm not, I'm not buying the idea here that he's really hoping for the best for Christine. I think, I think she, I think he'd like Christine's marriage to crash and burn. Don't you think? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't get that from him. But really? I'm saying, I don't think so. I mean, I just think he's like... He seems miserable. I wish I were the best. He hates his life right now, Dave. Oh, jeez. I want you to take a look and... Oh, uh, no, he definitely does. Let's talk about it. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> In my heart, I just never want to see her again. And I want to spend some time hating her. I think it, it, is, it is at least a positive thing that he is aware of that emotion. I'm not laughing. I haven't been laughing with her leaving. I've never been laughing about this thing. My reaction is just terrible today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's feeling a little shame. That's a, that is a bad look for Christine. So sometimes you still hate me. I think she likes that. I think it gives you satisfaction if I did. He's right. She does. Mm-hmm. The evil thoughts I had about you, you know, like, like, you know, but I, and I was just... At least he's honest. I, I, I will tell you <laughs> that there is a quality of Christine like in the last couple of episodes where she's trying to be so happy and so moved on and I never think about you and I'm so in love with David and everything, right? That she feels less sincere here than he does. Like he at least is saying, I'm... Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I feel like she, like, I feel like he pushed her to the brink and then she closed the door and then she left. And now mm. she, I mean, she's just being honest. Like, she doesn't care. She really doesn't care. Like, it's, it's funny to her. I think she does care. <laughs> you do? I don't yes. think she does. I think she, yes, I think she wants him to be distressed. I think she wants all the other wives to leave him. I think she wants to, him to suffer for the suffering that he made her feel. I think she wants retribu- retribution. Mm-mm. You disagree? 
No, I, I, I just don't. I think she's like trying. I think she doesn't care, which is meaner than even wanting retribution. <laughs> That's, I think it would be, like, I think it would be satisfying to Cody for her to engage in mm-hmm. that way. And mm-hmm. she just can't get there. So, like, you know what I mean? She's like, I don't care. Mocks my suffering and laughs about it. And I'm going, well, I think you'd drive a truck over me if you could. She's like, oh, no, I wouldn't. Ha, ha, ha. But your suffering, I enjoy. And it just pisses me off. What? I think I was right in my assessment. Like, she, she does not care. And he wants her to care. He wants her, you know, because he wants her to take care of him in his suffering. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I don't care. Yeah, but you may <laughs> be right. But him him saying that it hurts him that she doesn't care doesn't prove that she truly doesn't care. Yeah. I just don't think she cares. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So you're yes. being a Disney villain. I know. Well, <laughs> okay. okay. Is there a particular <laughs> Disney Cruella. villain? Full Cruella. Hold on. Cruella. Absolutely. Have you seen the the 101 Dalmatians with Emma Stone? It's Cruella with Emma Stone, but yes. Oh, it's called Cruella? Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, let me tell you what that... <laughs> let me tell you what, but okay. I'm trying to figure out why she would be attracted to Cruella. But I think it's the idea that Emma Stone was this sort of mousy girl that had no power and was super subservient and her talent was never identified, mm-hmm. right? And then she created this alter ego and then beca- became this sort of, oh, you know, yeah. this really impactful figure on the world of art. And she was vengeful. She got payback. But she moved from having no control to all of the control. And I think that uh, that sort of arc that she's attracted al- that to. That does align, yeah. Do you blame her for destroying the big picture? No, because that's all my fault for marrying a woman I didn't love. Cody, your kids are watching you, and I just feel like uh, you're not your best self. <laughs> this is... What do, what, what do you want him to say here? Not like I would be so sad if my dad just like got on TV and was like, I never loved her, your mom, ever. I just did her because she was there. <laughs> yeah, I guess fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think Cody ever mm-hmm. thinks about how what he's saying is impacting his kids. But I don't know. I can't tell what his truth is like what he actually feels because I think he's so hurt and so vengeful and he has no power to get back at Christine. He has he has zero ability to affect her now and so I think he's grasping at straws. So I don't know if I actually believe that he didn't love her, you know? I don't. You don't believe him? Mm-mm. No, I don't think the Robin is has any desire to live polygamy or plural marriage. I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. I don't think Christine knows Robin at all. I feel like they should show examples, like Chris, not just Christine saying no, but like because I wasn't able to take care of her kids, and I like this would these would be examples, but they don't allow her to have examples. Right, it's annoying. Well, or when they're lying, like the one from last week when Robin was like, "I don't remember taking that personality test." I said, you know, Christine must have done it for me, and then <laughs> if everybody on the internet's like, "Actually, here's the actual episode where you did," you know what I mean? There's never any like. What about this? There's never any accountability. She was a sister wife. She'll probably, and I hope, be a very good wife for David. You're a real shithead. I think she's going to be wonderful moving forward. I wish her the best. Because that's when I'll believe Christine is in love, is when she doesn't have anything bad to say about Robin or about me to our children. What? I feel like that's manipulation. What do you mean? He's like, I'll know when you're in love when you stop talking shit about me on TV. Oh, that's how I'll know. Yeah. Is it though? <laughs> I mean, it's manu. It's yeah. He's maneuvering. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, maneuvering. Fair, fair. Say what you want, Christine. I'll back you up. Like if if Robin went and chased down somebody like Mary chased down Robin. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be interested because I would have to tell that woman I will never love you as much as I love her. Because he got it was like kind of giddy at first. He was like, "You mean if Robin did what Mary did?" <gasps> no. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't ever. Is she like really hot diesel jeans model? Nope. 
<laughs> nope, I would never love you as much as I love Robin. Did you find happiness with just Cody at this time? To be loving and respectful to Cody, I want to say yes, but I just don't know how this works exactly. Um, it's weird. I feel like it's disrespectful. Why don't you worry about disrespecting me that much? You don't seem ever that concerned. That's not true. The idea of disrespecting you does not bring you to tears. Okay. Do you want to be married to that? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm well just... then lock it up. <laughs> but they want you to be happy with Cody. Do you need to hear that yeah. from them Yes. to be able to be purely happy yes. with Cody? Yes. I don't, this I don't understand. She's wanting them to... She's wanting them to approve of the relationship between her and Cody so that she can be happy? I guess so. <laughs> okay, but... Right, like, you could argue, like, she should probably go and also apologize to them. She should acknowledge her role in this. She was, did nothing. Right? She just was the object of hate and trash talk. Because I don't know how it feels like it's disrespectful to his kids. It feels disrespectful to the commitments that I made. She's saying for her to be monogamous with Cody is disrespectful to the other wives, to mm -hmm. Janelle, Christine, and Mary. Mm -hmm. Because when she entered the family, it was oh. a whole family. I think that's what she's saying. It's a little so too weird late. weird perspective, yeah. It's it's a little, a little, we we yeah. could have changed that. We could have helped Mary get her piece of the property. Yeah, we could have done a little. <laughs> He's yeah. like, hmm, come on. He'll go, what's wrong? And I'll do the, nothing, everything's fine. And he'll go, nope. And he sits right down and he waits. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm aware, aware and observant. No. <laughs> You're well, not. Just for the record, for everybody <laughs> listening here, this is passive aggressive on her part. The idea of her being upset and then her being like, I'm fine. And then he <laughs> has to just wait and be like, sweetheart, I'm just going to wait for you. <laughs> Good thing that you're you're more aggressive aggressive. At least you know what you get. Hi David. So nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Pleasure to meet you. Heard so much about you. Oh, um, I hope it's good. <laughs> good. Whatever. I love his He's nervous. <laughs> I mean I, I, this is no critique on him, but the two but Suki and, and Christine, we've heard a lot about you. I hope it's good. <laughs> Forget right? Jay. Oh, jeez. Who is this man? Uh, I was married for over 20 years to a woman. Um, I have eight kids. I have 10 grandkids. Yes. And um, she passed away about 11 years ago, so I started dating. Wow. I do want to say, I think it is a, it's a, it's a good sign that the marriage is not good for him, that the, that he's a widow, a widower, but... It sounds like he had a good relationship and he wants to have a good relationship, mm -hmm. right? Like he wasn't just yeah. out and about, you know. Like he, he was really looking for a, a solid relationship. Yeah. So we went to a play and I watched her be so animated by the play that I went, wow, she really passionate about life. So what? Inanimated? So I think he was meaning to say that she enamored. was- Enamored. Oh, enamored. Oh, I th oh, it was a combination of animated and enamored. I think he's nervous. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can we just talk about the physical attraction aspect of it? Was she your type? Okay. Well, because Cody wasn't attracted to her. Oh, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> what was different about Christine than the other women that you had dated prior? No drama. Believe it or not, no Isn't drama. Isn't that crazy? That's a weird... I mean, of all the things that she, of all of her characteristics, no drama is not one of them. She's got a, an entire reality TV show about drama, right? Yeah, and she's a crazy ex-husband. And she's it's uh, lots of drama. Like, we're all people. watching your relationship right now. I guess he's used to like big. He has eight kids. No, no drama. But no drama is like a weird first thing to say. Yeah. I know that there's an end to all this down the road, and that's the person that I want to grow old with. I like him. He seems really nice. He seems really nice. I think he's nervous, but I think he's yeah. a really nice guy. And while I think that she's rushing in, 
it doesn't seem like he's rushing in. Yeah. You know, he's he's he seems like a solid guy. The guy you were married with was never into it. Like that sucks, but that's his problem, not yours. But that scene bothers me because she's right there asking for my children to side with her against me. I don't see it. I, I don't she see it She wasn't either. doing that. No. She was just, she was talking about going on dates. She wasn't I guess he's, he's wanting the kids to say, you can never date anybody else but our dad. Mm -hmm. is, that the, is that the view? In order to have favor with Christine is siding against me on this whole story. The guilty is like, yes, I mean, she's joining Christine in the criticism of me because I didn't love her. McKelty said, I can't believe that dad didn't find you attractive because you're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't attracted to you, that's his problem. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Yeah, he wasn't siding. She didn't side with Christine. Yeah. Now he's like villainizing yeah, McKelty. Yeah, but, but he has a distorted sense of reality. Mm -hmm. She has pit my children against me in a very subtle but real way, and that bothers me. Now, if she's really in love, which I hope is the real story, that should all end. I mean, I'm with, I'm with Cody that I can imagine if you're getting divorced, you want your ex to stop speaking negatively about you. I don't believe there's any correlation between an ex talking shit about their old partner and them loving the old partner. Yeah. Right. If, the, if Cody's behavior towards her kids continues to be shitty, she's going to continue to talk shit about him. She's trying it's to, got she, nothing to do with love. No, she just he's just trying to maneuver her to stop doing yeah. it. Yeah. And kissing doesn't have to lead to something. You don't have to have sex just because you're going to be making out. My preference is that it does. <laughs> David. Well, remember when you said Christine was Machiavellian at yes, times? Yes, I still believe that. Well, if she's not, then she is in love unless she's Machiavellian to get her way with her husband, which is going to be a very normal thing in any kind of marriage where you're doing kind of things. What's the tagline for her? I think he's just saying that she's, you know, um, a manipulator. She's, she's, she's tricky. She's, Well, right, there's like a thing, a Machiavelli was not tricky. He just, get to the end game by any means possible is Machiavelli, right? But that, the way that he was doing it, wasn't always good for the people around him. So I think he's saying, like, she'll mistreat you. Yeah, okay. And years to come, if we all become friends, David might be pulling me aside and going, dude, <laughs> this is nuts. To say, I don't think David's pulling you over and going to have that conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Suki. Yeah, I, I think you can rest I mean, assured that's probably not going to happen. I should state the obvious, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the weirdest... Is this whenever Cody... He's losing his mind. Well, I just, yeah, he's, I just think he's like... Lost his marbles. He has this like view of how things function. It's just not... He's like the world he believes exists is just so far from reality. Just like you didn't pull over the other wives to have conversations about to your... talk. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that a tenant that you have? You, pull, you talked a lot of shit. Yes, and I think Suki... Like, I feel like right there it seemed like Suki called him out and said, that's never going to happen. And then she felt bad about it, and now she's like trying to normalize it. Like, I, I, there's some kind of she can't be hard. She will not be hard on him. Well, we don't get any information. Maybe yeah. he shuts down. That's why. She's not that at all. I don't see that. And I'm a people person. I can read people. She's not that way at all. She is really good. Everyone thinks they can read. People. I know. I. 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 That, I yeah. He maybe he can, but I just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. Very few people will be like, I really have a hard time reading people. <laughs> right? Have you ever met anybody that's like, biggest limitation here? I just people, I'm really hard. Just no can't intuition. Read them. Yeah. But that's him. And that's who he is. I can't say anything differently. Would I be like that? No. Yeah. You know, it's just, he, he wants you to hear him. Here's the thing. He's right. Though. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe you are good with people. He does. He definitely wants to be heard, and it de it definitely bothers him mm -hmm. that she's happy. Christine has to destroy my character, or David doesn't feel like he can marry her because she left a good man. I'm not a bad guy. But he, it's because Cody views it like when you go when you're dating. I think this is what happened with Robin, or the way the way he describes it is like you go to the local polygamous market. 
you know, and all of the potential partners are walking around and you're like, I'm interested in that one. What, what kind of baggage do they have? You know, how many kids do they have? How do they, how does their ex view them? What was the real, and like, you're trying to calibrate with people versus actually having a connection with people. Like he, he has this weird. And I think he's narcissistic. Like he's just really self-involved. Like David's like, I don't care about him. <laughs> I yeah. care zero. <laughs> no, back to the original thing. I think that Christine does want Cody to suffer. I think David does not want to be on reality TV. He wants <laughs> nothing to do with this and could care. He yeah. cares zero about Cody. Yeah. I vetted and Robin differently it. than that. I yeah. vetted Robin hard because I had to know that she didn't leave a good man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, see, that's he's back to the market. Like, okay, I did this, it. can we check her teeth? What do these look like? You know? You're still a good man, even though Christine left. She needs to it? stop telling my children I'm not then. Well, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to let that go oh. ever until, until those kids come to me. If Suki doesn't fall with this, I'm going to freak out. She's not going to. She doesn't. She's not making him. like she, But I wonder if he, she's witnessing like agitation right in front of her. Because he's clearly agitated. He's interrupting. Mm -hmm. He's not like linear in his thinking at all mm -mm. you know and so it's just like just it's i feel like what's coming out of his mouth is so nonsensical yeah and you're like what are you saying it the idea but just, i have to just say it the idea that his plan is to resent his wife and not his ex-wife and not talk to his kids until they come to him yeah he's on he's in his chair and all of these people have to come to him Otherwise, he's not going to move on. Yeah. That's but the, such the, a the sick theme. way of functioning. It's I, the theme of the whole last I know. two seasons. I've complained about it forever, but it's just such a distorted way to parent. I can't deal with it. Janelle and her kids are definitely invited. And Mary? Um, um, my gut reaction is no. I feel like I should, but no. So Mary's not invited. Why not? I don't know. I, I don't want to know. Suki, get it together. Ask the question. Why doesn't anyone like Mary? I need the deeds. Well, but McKelty is McKelty is Christine's daughter, right? Yes. And McKelty's the one that says that Mary was abusive. But like in what way? Just like a lot? I think emotionally abusive. Oh, okay. I think she was just really harsh. I, I haven't I have not watched it, but I just heard people talking about it. We're really happy for you. We're really happy you found each other and wishing you the best. And I can't wait for the wedding. <laughs> so that's it? That's it. We made it. Sister Wives is done. So I don't think they're doing, a, they're not doing a season 19. They're just doing her wedding. Oh, really? I don't know. I just can't imagine that they would, what else is there to talk about? Nothing. But that was a weird ending. There, it wasn't like a, a lot of. I do wish that they would cut it with, a, I get that it's funny to hear everybody's, whatever, celebrity crush. But I just feel like the whole season was so light on actual content that I wish they had. You know, I wish that she would have, Suki would have pushed Cody to talk about it, his kids. What's the relationship with the kids? I want to know what. are you going to do moving forward, you uh, know? Yeah. All right. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you.